Hi guys, my name is Meats. This is going to be a review for SH Figures Seller Jupiter. I got this on my way back from LA. Stopped by Tattoo Hobby. They have this in stock. Pretty awesome. <laughs> and uh, this is Makoto Kino. But I grew up, uh, I think I know her as Lita. It just depends on how uh, or how it's translated. So yeah, really, uh, really excited for this one. And it's just always depicted as a strong one, just taller. And she has lightning. Can't go wrong with that. <laughs> and uh, as you can see on the back, different poses, uh, different faces, and you got that the antenna for a lightning attack. Pretty cool. More shots here on top and on bottom. Yep. All right, so let's take a look inside. Right inside, we're gonna get an awesome stand. Sailor Jupiter right there. Pretty cool. I usually just store this away. I prefer to have them just uh, stand on my display area. We have instructions, tell you all the different hands it comes with. So we got about one, two, three, four, five, six, six pairs of hands. And how to interchange them, how to build the base here. Very standard. And we got this. So I just want to quickly go over this. Uh, this doesn't come with any lightning effect, unfortunately. Kind of wish they do. Would be nice. I mean, you can. I think you can just stick it on this side here. <laughs> but apparently they they haven't, and I, I don't think any of the other uh, Sailor Moon figures have it in terms of the SH figures line. And it's one of those that you don't really need one. You can go away without it. And uh, to be honest, you know, sometimes it's just good, just good to have the figure. And there are other uh, other figure lines out there that provide the eff uh, effect parts. So uh, let's go take a look on this. Remove this part here. I'm really glad that they do this one. Although, come to think of it, this is nice, but not nice when you're swapping out the hands and it doesn't fit. This one, what if you uh, replace this with a closed fist? It does not work well. <laughs> And I kind of wish you have the zippy bag from Figma. Alright, so removing that just to protect the paint. Alright, a quick comparison with Sailor Moon. And we can clearly see that uh, Makoto is quite tall. <laughs> Although I've seen other reviews and they, they, they did point it out that Makoto's uh, legs uh, got extended but not the arms. And uh, get her to stand. <laughs> and that's another thing, just a balancing act to get this uh, figures to stand. But uh, if you look at Sailor Moon, her fingers uh, stretch just halfway through her thigh. And Makoto, it only gets just below the skirt. So that's a little bit of an imbalance, but even nonetheless. Alright, I had to use actually Bootak to get them to stand sometimes. But nonetheless, it's great. And basically, in terms of articulation, it, they're all pretty much the same. Wide variety of uh, poses, really nice. And the paint apps, you got that really nice uh, pearlescent green or metallic green. Same as with a bow. Really nice. And uh, I did notice that they have this uh, ponytail which has a ball joint. It does pop off time to time and I kind of wish the peg here is a little longer to hold on to the edge of the head or other side of the hair. <laughs> but uh, surprisingly the ball joint is hidden with this so you don't really see it as much which is great. I really like that. And it gives you uh, different options on how you want to twirl her hair. Alright, so uh, that's that part, and uh, let's go over the different heads and accessories. So, we have one here where I think she believes uh, she's uh, shouting or calling upon the thunder. You have a happy face here, so it's smiling, and you want a determined look. You have closed fists, open hands. I think that this is one of her poses where she's kind of grabbed. <laughs> It can be used for other things. Uh, Sailor Moon pose and other things. So, 
pretty interesting uh, variety of hands. It's always great that they include plenty of them. Because usually uh, I notice that Sailor Moon or the whole uh, series, they, they emphasize a lot with hand gesture. <laughs> it's one of their trademarks. Alright, so I do find this. Uh, yeah, this part just got stretched. Yeah, it's just so thin. It's find it a little weird, in my opinion, just the proportions. But you know what? I'm gonna complain there. It's actually a pretty good figure. All right, so uh, let's do some swap. Um, let's do the lightning, of, lightning one. I believe uh, she uses. Yeah, let's do a quick swap. So again, unfortunately, there's no lightning effects here. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we got this one. This is uh, a part. Just gonna just pop off. Alright, here we go. Take this off. It's my first time, so it's still stuck there. Here we go. Put this on. Hmm. It's always interesting how they design a peg. It's always different for each figure. So this one, the antenna actually comes in front. There we go. And actually mine just rests on top of the green, uh, green crystal on her tiara. So that's nice. Alright, so uh, that worked pretty well. Get her hair back. As you can remember if uh, they ever shown her without the ponytail. And let me see what I think she uses. Uh, I'm trying to remember which. which Oops, I forgot I don't have this on. <laughs> All right, just swap this out. Some lightning poses. Which one is that? This one. And another one. Try to figure out what they use for the box art. It's all different. Oh. Okay. That is weird. Hmm. I think she used this one and uh, hold on. Sorry if I'm, I'm trying to figure this out. I think that's it. We got this part here. Uh, across her hands. There we go. Alright, so uh, let me see if I have some lightning effect parts. All right, so after going through my parts bin, <laughs> finally found some uh, lightning effect parts, which sort of works out, but not quite. So um, first, I've been asked about this before. This is the Corrin effect from Ultraman uh, Gaia V2. So uh, that's it's kind of hard to find now, but it's a really nice splash effect part. On top of that, you got two of the lightning parts on the back. Those are from Super Robot Jigoken, I believe, Great Mazinger. Are the, those are the lightning effect parts, which are pretty cool. And on top of that, the one on her head is from SRC or Super Robot Jigogan Grandizer. It's the lightning effect part, which actually has horns on the side. You just don't see it here, but it kind of works out pretty well. So uh, that's <laughs> those are the effect parts I can see I can be used on this. I also have this from the SH Monster Arts, which I kind of forgot which one. Um, using this wonder it might be in the space Godzilla one of those guys this doesn't really work out pretty well because it's just it looks like a a tree vine of some sort yeah not this one <laughs> but this one works pretty well so there you go uh, if you're curious you can try this out actually I've also seen a an image um, somewhere in the internet I forgot where where someone uses the effect parts from the SRC Gunbuster, it's uh, the one that goes around his body lightning effect. 
that works pretty well also. Yeah, I just can't remember where I found that. Yeah, so anyways, that's about that. Alright, we got all five of them, and I'm very, very happy to have all of them in one shot. They just look amazing. And actually, this is just the beginning of the collection. <laughs> we have the Outer Planetary Scouts, Neptune, and Uranus, Saturn, and Pluto. And who knows, they may even make Chibi Moon and Tuxedo Mask. So, plenty more to collect, and there's other variants of Sailor Moon. I think that's Super... Uh, I'm not quite sure, remember who. The Super Sailor Scouts, I think. When they have an upgrade on their uniform. Who knows, they might even do that too. And they may even have the one where she's a queen in the serenity. With all that, uh, the white, the dress. So, that's a lot more to collect. But, um, yeah, so far I really like this line. The metallic paint, the pearlescent effect. It's just great. Uh, in terms of the eye, eye paint app, it just, as I remember in the anime, the figures. They're very nostalgic, and if you're a big fan of Sailor Moon, you're probably collecting this line already. So I, I would highly suggest, uh, if you're a big fan, you should definitely be collecting this. They're really great. Uh, there are a few things that uh, I rem I already mentioned on the review that I, I kind of wish they've uh, done differently. That's uh, with Mars's neck, it's kind of a bit off, and uh, Jupiter's arm, which they were longer. But other than that, uh, there are a few things that I found, but overall they're great. Now also, there's a lack of effect parts, it's just that I'm not sure if they can add that or it will incur the cost. Uh, these SH figure arts are actually relatively cheap compared to other figures out there, so I guess maintaining the cheap, uh, uh, price range uh, to be lower uh, helps with uh, a lot of collectors out there as opposed to having, uh, having it at 50 or 60 with the added effect parts. So. That's something extra, and who knows, they might uh, release uh, just a effect part uh, add-on uh, set just for this, uh, just for this. Uh, so that'll be great if they ever do that in the future. Right, that's about it for the review. If you have any questions, let me know. And again, I got this from Tatsu Hobby. They still have it in stock. Uh, please go check that out. I'll, put, I'll provide the link down below. And yeah, that's about it. So until then, this is Speeds. Thanks for watching.